guys and welcome to vlogmas day 13. So it's five o'clock now and I haven't vlogged all day because I've been pre-recording videos. So yeah, I'm starving, what's new? So I'm gonna make tacos tonight, steak tacos, and I seriously suck at making steak. And I just realized we have no, oh wait, just kidding. Thought we had no tortillas, found some. So yeah, I suck at making steak and the steak that we got from Costco the other day intimidates me. So whatever, I'm just gonna wing it. Um, so Doug is not home yet, he's still at work. So I have some time to make dinner before he comes home because he seriously just, it sounds like I'm just trying to be a good wife all the time and making dinner, but if I'm honest, if he watches me make dinner, he'll just be annoying and be like, you're doing that wrong, you're doing that wrong because I don't know how to cook meat. So I'd rather just him come home and eat it. So anyways, um, what else is new? Oh yeah, I was reading your guys' comments from yesterday about like, I don't know, in yesterday's vlog I was talking about privacy in YouTube. Just want to throw it out there that I in no way meant that I wasn't going to show my baby to you guys <laughs> when she's born. I'm gonna show you, obviously. But it's just like, I don't know, at what point is it, wow, it's really close to my face. At what point does it get invasive for the child? That's what I was just trying to say. Wasn't saying that I am not going to show my family or anything like that. So yeah, I definitely got a mixed amount of like comments from you guys or opinions. Some of you guys said, well most of you guys said that you would show because it's good to document and what's the difference between showing on a blog than showing pictures to on Facebook. Well Facebook is just friends, but like Instagram if it's public. And then I totally get that. And then other people said that they would never show their kids. And yeah, so I don't know where I'm going to stand, but for now I feel like it's fine because she's an infant so yeah we're gonna see what happens and I honestly the thing that makes me like just think about it more is that I know Doug is even though he talks to you guys in the vlogs and stuff he's very private so I don't know how that's gonna be um so yeah look at all of these cherry tomatoes fresh goodness four dollars from Costco I love cherry tomatoes I can eat them all day well not really but yeah so I'm gonna get to making this because I am starving and he's gonna be looking for the food when he comes home. So I'm almost done with dinner and I feel pretty proud of myself because I haven't made tacos in so long. If you've been watching my vlogs a long time, I used to make tacos like every other day when we first moved in and I don't know, it like transitioned to pasta once I started to get more hungry um, in my pregnancy. I'm seriously starting to just feel so pregnant. Like my belly is just so hard at the bottom because her head has moved down there. Oh, it's just so uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm heating up our tortillas. Doug's almost home. Gotta make sure I don't burn them because that's always annoying. And I really wanted to go Christmas shopping tonight, but I just don't think I have the energy. We'll see if Doug wants to go, but I still have to shop for my sister's family and a few of my friends. And yeah, I'm probably just gonna go to Home Goods. And I'm actually probably going to, because um, I think I've mentioned before, my sister lives in Tennessee. So I usually just ship everything to her um, because shipping is so expensive. I tried to ship my friend a robe that she left at my wedding and it was going to cost me $25 to ship it to Ohio. That's insane. So I just have to make sure to get my long distance friends or family, um, like something from a free shipping website like Nordstrom or Amazon. Shipping will literally kill you. Especially during the holiday season, they like hike everything up. So I forgot to vlog our flipping dinner because I was so hungry that I just ate it, but we just had steak tacos like you guys saw. And yeah, so right now I had a craving for the best cookies in the world. I'm gonna do a blog post on them, but they're called the Outrageous. Doug's opening up the eggs. Outrageous chocolate chip cookies. They have oats. He just pretended to eat one. They have oats, peanut butter, and chocolate chips. What? Do we have oats? Yeah. Is this the bread? What's it doing in here? I don't know. I just put it in there. <laughs> yeah, we need that and the peanut butter. Oh, yeah. We don't normally have this big of a jar, but this was for the baby Look at it, shower. Next to my face. Yeah. So that was for the baby shower. That's why it's so big. How many eggs? And I'm making 35 servings. Um, I need two eggs. For 35 cookies? Yeah, you don't need that much. Wow. Okay. 
and I need salt right behind you guys. Baking They're like, when you say right behind you guys, someone's like, what? <laughs> what, you, what did you need? Salt, sugar, I mean sugar, flour. You need to get out of the way, what are you doing? Why is this thing gotta record my chest? Just like. <laughs> Put on my apron, Doug's mom got me this. Says, Queen Bee. <laughs> not like Beyonce though. Yeah, I am like not. Like an actual bee. Like, yeah, like an actual bee. I am, I swear I'm like the only girl that's not into Beyonce. I don't listen to Beyonce, but I'm not a girl, so. I feel like every girl is like so gaga over Beyonce. I'm just like, I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know why people are so obsessed. Mm -hmm. And what was with that weird, did you ever watch that? Like she did like a one hour music video. Doug? No, I didn't see that. It's very strange. Yes. <laughs> and here's where the balls are made. Doug. <laughs> Doug, you don't have to zoom in like that. Very picky with how my cookies are placed. As Haley continues to make the cookies, we have an entire other sheet here ready to go. Because you nobody wants to see a sheet. Well, what do you want to see in a vlog? I want to see you putting those cookies on that sheet. Regardless of whether I'm watching the vlog or not. I'm not keeping Because that's what I want to see. They look so good. So one of you guys recommended the show Parenthood on Netflix. And we started watching it. And then like three seconds into the movie, Lorelai Gilmore just shows up. <laughs> and we're like, what the heck? Or we're like, all right, Lorelai. What's her name? You need to get her here. Lauren Graham. Lauren Graham. But yeah, I mean, we've only watched like three minutes of it. So yeah. <laughs> I don't know, but it seems pretty good. And we got way more cookies, cause we want to. They are so good. Hey guys, so yesterday's vlog is about eight minutes, so I'm sorry about that. Um, I just realized there's a vacuum next to me I need to put away. But yeah, so I thought I would do the comment of the day. And also, if you haven't seen, I posted my nursery tour this morning, so I will link that on the screen here if you haven't seen it and down below. But let me just go through my comments really quick and pick a random one. Okay, so this one is from the Moha, mm, wow, Moha Deers. No idea how to say your last name. Um, but she said, my comment is random, but how do you feel about traveling with your baby before they are a year old? Everyone always has different opinions. I'm just curious if something that you and Doug would do. Well, Doug and I are planning a trip next year to go to either, we don't know yet, but I wanna either go to Germany or like London, like the UK area. We wanna to go to one country every year. We would like to go to more, but he only gets so much time off for work. So our goal is to go to a different country every single year. And next year, I don't know which one we're gonna go to, but this year we went to Japan. So next year we're gonna go somewhere in Europe probably. So our baby's for sure not gonna be a year old. Well, yeah, no, she's not gonna be a year old. So we're probably gonna travel with her. Um, but honestly, I might completely change my mind once she, you know, is born. I might think totally different on the subject. So for right now, we're planning on it and we're saving for it. But I could, again, change my mind. My mom is like super skeptical about taking a newborn um, infant, like even grocery shopping. So I just know she's gonna flip out about it because she's afraid of germs and stuff. I'm not too worried about it. So yeah, thank you so much for your comment. I'm sorry today's vlog was seriously a random mishmash. I didn't even show you guys my dinner, I'm so annoyed. And it was just not a fun vlog. So I'm sorry about that. But today's gonna be more interesting because I have my prenatal appointment. Um, so yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching. My daily vlog or not my daily vlogs but vlogmas this year and if you like the video give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I really want to reach I don't think this is gonna happen but I don't want to jinx myself but I really want to reach 30,000 subscribers by the new year right now I'm at 27 7 27 so I don't think that's gonna happen, but if I'm around 30,000, I'll be happy. So yeah, definitely subscribe if you haven't already or share, not this video, but share like the nursery tour if you want to or another one of my videos. That would really help me out a lot. And yeah, thank you guys again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.
Thank you.